Hi, and welcome to Coding with Jesse. I'm Jesse Skinner, and I've been working on a React.js demo here where I've broken up this web page into a bunch of React components and wired up some click events and other things. And now I'm pretty happy with it and ready to get it to production. So what do I have to do to do that? Well, let's have a look at my HTML. And one thing on here that's a problem is this JSX transformer. So that's a huge piece of code that's running and run it's converting my JSX files into JavaScript automatically. Now this is helpful for development because it means I don't have to run any command line tools. But in production, that's probably not something that you want to include on your website. So what do I have to do to convert my JSX files into JavaScript? Well, if I go over to the React website, uh, they have instructions for installing the JSX transformer on my computer with NPM. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to go down to the command line and I think if I try running uh, React tools globally, I need to uh, run this as sudo, sudo, whatever. Put in my password and so let's see what happens. So I'm installing this React Tools package, it's going to have at least a JSX binary. I can see it copying that right now. And that should do it. So I should be able to run JSX. And it doesn't do anything. So I think it's what's going to happen is I need to pass it some parameters. All right, so JSX, there's options, source directory, output directory. So I think, let's see my files, I have my components there. I'm going to make a directory called build, which will have my build files. And then I should be able to run JSX components build, and it should, well, what happened? So let's look in build, nothing. So maybe it's because it doesn't know, ah, let's see. So there's an option here, dash x, file extension to assume when resolving module identifiers. So maybe I need to specify dash x as js, uh, jsx rather, because I named all my JavaScript jsx files jsx. And yeah, that seemed to work. So it says it built my four modules. So if I look in my build folder, there I have for JavaScript files. Now, let's just have a look at what the JSX um, build process does. So let's look at my radio option. So this is my JSX file. I have HTML right in the middle of my render method. So what does it actually do? So if I go into radio option.js, which it's created, uh, let's see, it turned my HTML into react.createElementCalls. Uh, all the attributes it put into objects as the parameter, the second parameter, and then it passes the children as a third parameter, which are which it then recursively calls react.createElement. And so I could have written my code using react.createElement all along, but I liked it better to just use HTML. It was easy to copy and paste from my original template. And now I run my JSX tool and it turns it into JavaScript for me. Uh, so one other thing I see it did is it added display name here, radio option. And I guess that makes it easier to debug and see what's happening. All right, so that's before and after. All right, so I have my JavaScript files here. So what do I need to do to link them in? Well, let's go back to my HTML. Um, I'm going to make two HTML files, one here under demo and um, I'm going to make another one under build that'll be my build version so I'm going to copy and paste this over so it's going to be almost the same except instead of I'm not I don't need the JSX transformer I'm going to link in my files directly I don't need type 
text.jsx because they are actually JavaScript. I need to change the extension to JS because it's now JavaScript. And then in my final block where I render, uh, it won't be JSX either. And now I need to go back to what I had in my very first uh, video where I use create element and pass a demo because now I have to use that non JSX way of doing it because this won't work because it's not JSX. So uh, one other thing I should probably do is use the production version of React. So I'm just going to go, I'm already on the downloads page. They have, So I used the development version originally. Now I'm going to use the production version, which is compressed and has some code taken out of it. So I'll paste that in, and that should do it. So let's try this out in the browser under build. So I'm going to change my URL from demo to build. And looks the same, acts the same, everything seems to work. Looks good. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, if you, uh, the way I've done this is with using global variables, a bunch of script tags on the page, and that sort of thing. If you're doing something else with require JS, with Webpack, uh, Browserify, any of those options, there's other ways to uh, convert your J JSX files into JavaScript. Um, but they all basically use that same tool, the JSX uh, program I used. So uh, hopefully this gets you started into whatever method you're using. All right, I hope you I hope you've enjoyed this series on built using React JS, and hope it gets you started on using it in your own projects. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.